Oh yes, the Kazakhstan, yes, Putin and Biden, yes, Joe Biden, he is drug. I mean, he is not smart guy, fellow Americans, it's I, <laughs> your favorite American propagandist. I tell you the truth. <laughs> All right, so uh, Kazakhstan. Oh yeah. So this is a color revolution, obviously, but most importantly, was the speed with which um, the I think it's called CSTO, or it, because you see, of course, there's that part of my mind that's always thinking CSGO, which is some shooter game, <laughs> uh, and. I think it's CSTO. It's something like Coordinated Strike Something Organization. I forget. Or Coordinated Security. That's it. Yeah. I think it's something like, yeah, something along those lines. Coordinated Security and like anti terrorism or something. So the move on in Kazakhstan is us being fucking morons, fucking with Russia again. Again. And we told them we wouldn't do it. Way back in the Bush administration, we told them, we won't put, we won't be on your borders, we won't fuck with you. We totally fucked with them. There's a famous line with George Bush that had to do with South Ossetia. And that after uh, the, we put jihadis, we got jihadis to attack Russians via South Ossetia. Um, and Russia moved on South Ossetia. Um... Putin looked uh, straight at Bush and said in Russian, don't hang noodles from my ears, which was basically like, D don't, you know, don't try to play me like a punk, you know, and ever since then, Putin has absolutely been um, slowly building up his potential to not just secure his own borders, not just secure his own interests, but really now uh, the reaction in Kazakhstan is what really shows. The reaction in Kazakhstan has been fantastic in, in relationship to Putin's ability and Kazakhstan's ability to now react to us and our jihadists. And... Uh, and that's every, I mean, like the, the speed with which he called in reinforcements and, and the speed with which the internet was shut down and they just unloaded on protesters. Like Putin has shown, the Kazakhs and, the, and Putin has shown like that if, <laughs> if you come down like a thousand tons of fucking rock on the protesters, you, no, that you win. <laughs> you fucking totally win. And uh, that's what Kazakhstan is proving now. Kazakhstan is proving that, that, that like people like I who are saying, no, you just, un you, you, you stop till you have no ammo and the protesters lose. You, you win. that's it. You mow them fucking down. And, and Putin's gonna, and, and Putin's gonna be able to brag about it. He's going to be able to brag about it. Go look at how ineffective you Americans are with your own country's laws. And me, I just fucking sewed this shit up. And that's it. He's going to look like a real man. And almost every American politician is going to look like a dickless little fag. And that's how it's going to go down from, from now and forever. He's going to literally be able to laugh at us. Just fucking laugh at our inability to deal with protests. It's gonna be like, yeah, you guys let you guys tell your police to run. And here we don't do that. Here we actually secure our government. And uh, he's he's just going to mock us. That's what's going to happen. He's going to mock us. And the best irony of it all is how he's going to mock us is going to be this thing like, yeah, if Trump had just uh, if Trump had just had loyal people who loved the country in the armed forces and in the uh, military and in the government, you wouldn't have had these problems. But you have a bunch of disloyal motherfuckers and a bunch of disloyal traitors in your government and 
among the Democrats and stuff. So that's why you this why this happened. And look, I'm still here. Kazakhstan's still here. Fuck all y'all. And what's America gonna do? Dick. Biden's gonna do nothing. He's gonna suck that fucking dick. That's what he's going to do. That old man's gonna chug that fucking Russian cock. That's what's up. <laughs> He's going to be, he's going to look like a fucking chump because Biden no longer has game. He's not a tough guy. He's not a, uh, oh, he's not running shit. He's not the big man anymore. And he's going to look like a fucking punk. And eventually, what I'm actually thinking Russia was waiting for it. This is my next call. We'll know if Russia was waiting for this to happen. We will be able to find out. If all of a sudden, more shit comes out about Hunter and Ukraine, the more, the more, I'm expecting leaks, quote unquote leaks, amazing fucking leaks coming out. That's what I'm expecting. That, that, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see if I'm calling this right. But that's what I'm thinking we're about to see. We're about to see all of a sudden, all this information about Biden and his involvement with the Ukrainians. And the best thing, really, is if fucking Putin straight up starts talking about the Azov Battalion and the neo-Nazis that Obama, Kerry, Clinton, and uh, Biden used to secure their, their fucking hustle there in Ukraine. Because that's what happened. They used, uh, they used neo-Nazi groups. And, uh, and, and that's, that those are, that's the only government that you could say, oh yeah, well, are they fascists? They have Nazi goons, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's weird. What the fuck is that? How'd that pop up? Oh, is it... oh, fascinating. So that is still, wait a second. What's... Ah, oh, god damn it. No, god damn it. Why did you do not fucking correct, self correct? Oh, but it might have. Oh, no, it's no, it looked on. Okay, no, I'm not gonna find it. <laughs> okay, all right. I just was looking real quick for some, sorry, sorry, I got distracted because I saw Blogger up and I'm like, when did I open Blogger? Uh, <laughs> I know, Latin Patriot, right? I was like, wait, I just was checking because you had asked if uh, prolet, yeah, was it proletariat strength, right? That's why I had it under uh, way back when I thought that that was some super profound statement. Proletariat strength. But anyway. All right. Oh, how far we've come. How far we've come, haven't we? All right. I'm going to check some things out. Wow. Oh, dude. That's fucking boss. Wait a second. Oh, wow. Those are all your math trophies. That's fucking dope. Oh, and of course, your YouTube. Of course, you have a YouTube fucking award course you teach people math, which is useful, rather than me showing off my tank tops. All right, later.